Hello and welcome. I'm Fear Flow, and tonight we're going to be playing Silent Hill The Short Message. This is, uh, I believe, a PlayStation exclusive uh, version of Silent Hill. It does have some sensitive themes, such as self harm. So, if that kind of thing is going to upset you, you may want to click off of this video, but um, I'm just going to jump right into it. It's a very story-driven game, so I will let it speak for itself. Without further ado, let's get into the game. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone. And need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own. Without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. Is that the end of the sentence or was she addressing it to herself? It's never good when you get out the phone. But wasn't I just I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Maya. Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. Uh I I have no idea what kind of game this is going to be. I went into it very blind. Thief? Welcome to the city of hope. No hope. Huh. This model. Is it this building? The plan to rebuild Kettenstadt. An overview. Kettenstadt, a town with a long history as a thriving border stronghold. In recent years, those in their 20s have begun leaving in masses, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kettenstadt and restore it to its former glory in the help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem. But by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kettenstand. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Wow. Oh, it's in another language. So this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? 42743. Where is this? Where does this take place? <laughs> Plans to rebuild Ketten. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... Anyways, uh, plans to rebuild Kettenstan have suffered yet another major setback, as instability caused by COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize, owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures, due to unfortunate external circumstances. Kittenstand has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. 
The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. God damn, this girl is fucking going through it. God damn. That's not important. Okay. Where are you, Maya? Where are you? Where's Maya? Where am I? Oh. Uh. Okay. Uh, September 28, 2021, Notice of Provisional Meeting to all Villa residents. We've received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find the time to attend. Do you have anything you'd like to say about that? No exit. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I could... I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. Flowers in the freezer. Why is she not questioning the closing doors? We'll repaint it all. Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. It's Maya's signature. She's... amazing. This city is a blank canvas, begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. This is filmed, right? It's gotta be. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. <sighs> How could I ever be proud of myself? I mean, Maya obviously likes you. For graffiti artists, spray paint and blank walls are all you need. In Ketten Stan, the walls of a particular apartment building uh, are the canvas for several artists, with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that her, C her name is CB, which is short for cherry blossoms. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for a comment. Keeping her eyes fixed on a new piece, she had this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside, but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desire to do so. That everyone can see how talented she is. That baby be more different. Is that the baby doll? <gasps> okay. So yeah. I have no idea how terrifying this game is going to get. I'm a little nervous if I'm being honest. Who's there? Emile? Amelie, are you alright? 
You asleep? You still asleep? Sorry if I woke you up. Didn't see you at your job yesterday. Still not feeling good? You taking your meds? Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Is that me? That must be me. I have glasses on. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I can actually kind of get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously. Oh, wait. That doesn't make any sense. When you send a message, aren't you on the right side? Seriously, don't worry about it. It's all good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm going to get up soon. <sighs> that's a relief. Okay. So, no. Maybe that's her sister? That would make more sense. What the fuck? What's with this place? Why all the sticky notes? Oh, no. Loser! This is overwhelming. Child, ablu ab <laughs> child abuse, neglect, and Kettenstan. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kettenstan last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. That's horse. My mom loved me. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The sound is overwhelming. God damn. Antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. Okay. Am I dead? What is happening? It's all your Oh, go to hell. really serious. I knew it was going to be serious, but it got intense Mom. fast. I don't understand. There you go. <gasps> oh. What about you, Anita? Okay, this must be her sister. This has got to be. I mean, why else would they give them both glasses? <laughs> what? You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. They feel bad, you know. All of them. What the fuck happened? Uh, I 
guess we're running. Oh shit, oh shit. I don't know. Oh shit. Am I safe? Where did it even go? It looked like a teddy bear. What the fuck was that thing? It looked like a teddy bear. <laughs> Why am I safe in here? You here? I'm in the studio. Maya? There's a monster here. Are you okay? Yeah, she's fine. I think you're the one that needs to worry. Teenage suicides continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Kettenstent has become known for its suicides, with teenage girls jumping from its roof particularly every year. Uh, despite repeat events, the building abandoned ever since the development and management company declared bankruptcy remains easily accessible. Young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though, with many of them continue to en continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Please. Not Maya, too. She has been acting weird lately. These are pretty. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Uh... Why is she not replying? Come on! I have to find her. Yeah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, not in there, apparently? Okay, uh... That monster... It's gone, right? Where is the studio? This is a completely different area now, what the hell? Why is she not addressing it? Alright, this is... The younger generation and social media. Uh, inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers interviewed said that they were ashamed of the risque selfies that they posted online. They also claimed that they experienced anxiety of not getting enough likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and the lower their self-confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Yeah, social media is ass. Do not use it if you don't need to. It is so bad. I don't even... What was that? Hey, that's where I was earlier. R3. Oh, the famous suicide spot. Uh, It kind of looks like what Maya was wearing in that picture. But it just looks like a fair-skinned girl with dark hair. So I can't really tell from here. The art's really cool. Must have been fun to work on.
Uh, oh yeah, this is where we came from. Trash room, not relevant. It's the like scariest part of this game. By the way, thought any more about college? Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> you don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way. I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could... You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Oh my god. Don't do that. Don't do that. Emily doesn't get it. Emily. Gotcha. So you don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town see graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is, the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. What the There's no way out. Are you here? Is this your studio? Are these Maya's sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. <laughs> they seem happy. A new life. So full of life. Who was that? Are you Maya? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. Why won't she reply? She just did. Where are you? Yeah, it kind of feels like it. It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? Did you post this too? Even more followers. I lost followers again. Some new followers here. I need to upload stuff like this to get as many likes as Maya. Sexy. Loving it. Stop with 
the boring photos already. No sexy stuff, no followers. Wow, I hate your followers. Congrats on reaching your follower goal. Come on, we want sexy pics already. Stop! she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's... dead? Wait... Maya's really dead? Uh, how... how could I forget that? Are you alright, Anita? Hello? Who's this? Find it. Find it. Who? Find what? N not find. Wait, find what though? Not who, but what? What? What do I need to find? Also, I was right. Y'all saw it. That doesn't seem good. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, double shit. Oh my god, I'm getting really disoriented. Game! Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! Oh god. I don't know! Maybe everyone just ends up on the roof because they get sucked into a, another evil dimension and then they jump because they have nowhere else to go. Maya died. But her art lives on. Even more followers. What? ever going to notice me. You're alive at least, damn girl. This is where this I is where you jumped go. from. Bad things happen because of you! Maybe I can be like her. Here goes. No, that is not helpful. Oh, oh, I was.
wasn't actually expecting that. I thought I should get interrupted. Uh oh, what's happening? Is Maya dead or is Anita dead? That's smart. Huh? <sighs> Told you it wasn't helpful. Am I back at the villa? But why didn't I die? I wonder if this black, bloody hole means anything. You find it? Find what? Can't leave till you find it! So casual. This really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead, you're not her. Can't leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me. What the fuck? Well, you just died, so, like, why are you questioning the phone? Nothing should seem like reality to you at this point, in my opinion. Oh, no. My battery. Oh, whatever. Is this here before? Spare? I'm gonna wish I had that phone. Bad girl gets an empty plate. I don't remember it saying. Bad girl gets an empty plate. Okay. It was full of flowers earlier. Uh. I guess I just run when I need to run, because I don't none of the buttons seem to do anything. It's all your fault. Uh, this is all your fault. Bad things happen because of you. Okay, I can't imagine saying that to anyone, let alone my child. Does it literally want me to find something, or do, do I just go along with the story? Well, the painting's gone. Uh, what? Who would do this? I... Oh, I really want to say what I think is going on, but I don't want to ruin it if that ends up being- if I'm right. So I will say nothing. And then just be like, haha, I was right, if I am. Make a lot more sense. I want my flashlight back. Oh, wait, it's back on. Uh, how could somebody do this? <sighs> Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait, I bet it was these guys. Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh, I saw these guys earlier when I was running through the... the chain link. Did I go here? What's this? Uh, there's no ground. 
Children who turn trauma into tales, solitude and anxiety in teenagers part two. All of the teenagers surveyed suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences. And interesting all of and interestingly, all of them conceptualize those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed elsewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as a stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. These convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of the deep, out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. Those guys make me uncomfortable. Oh, I guess I have to go through the balcony. I guess, okay. I already read this. Hmm. Oh god, every time it scares me. This is just like before. That's different. So was Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please tell me. I still can't believe she's gone either. I wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So Maya really is dead then, yeah? Anita, are you okay? Are you getting enough sleep? Kinda, I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That is you're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. Maya really didn't tell you anything? No, all she talked about was a book she had read recently. Still, I feel guilty about what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? <laughs> So what did you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway... I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. Oh, wow. Look at all the sticky notes, just like the game. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. That's so creepy. Oh, okay. Letters. Yes, of course. Oh, I couldn't go in here before. Yes, it's a trash room filled with trash. This is all your fault. Everything. You. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend, my place in this world, all of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those shit stains art. You come out of nowhere and ruined everything. 
Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. I feel like this is directed towards Maya. Nothing? You're not gonna say nothing? That was very... It was a very intense letter to come across. Did I write those? I don't think I've been in this room either. Oh, hell no. Is this supposed to be Jeff the Killer? Hell no. December 23rd, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around at school and town showing so much skin. February 21st, 2021. I think I'm finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked my mom why, but she wouldn't say. May 11th, 2021. This is it, test day tomorrow. Mom told me that she that I should be proud of myself since I've worked so hard. So I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for both you and dad. Um, uh, this is haunting. Are these related? Ah. Uh, I can't really look at that one in the corner. Oh, another baby doll. Uh, Deutsch Deutschland Medical University of Medicine Orientation. Dear incoming freshman, welcome to Deutschland uh, Medical University. Funded in 1709, DMU is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. Its state-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details. September 24th, 2021. School of Medicine, Central Electoral Heart Priest. Hmm. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Uh, what? Hey, Anita, you got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? You seemed kind of out of it before. If something's bothering me, you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. Oh, right. You okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna try and avoid him as much as possible. So, shopping, yeah? We can find something cute. Nah, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on, your on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? I wonder if she... the only one who thinks that. I wonder if she wrote that nasty note that we found in the trash about Maya. If Amelie wrote that. October 17th, 2020. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think it might I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it... I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right, time to hit the books till morning. November 9th, 2020. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got canceled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen. Even if things had worked out, not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city, where college life is waiting for me. Everything's writing on my entrance exam next year. I have to get out before my brother comes back. Jeez, what the hell did he do? I mean, it's insinuating some pretty awful things. I'm just hoping that it's not what it is. This game has been pretty disturbing already. Stay home alone. Stay home alone. Come on. Stay home alone. 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 Stay home al
My mom's kind of a bitch. Oh, getting motion sickness all of a sudden. Hmm. August 24th, 2021. I got some materials for my first choice in, in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so, so happy. I still can't believe it. Mom and dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. September 22nd, 2021. Mom and dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work for nothing? No way. Don't leave me, Mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Emily hated the way her brother looked at her. Ooh. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Mom told her to get out of her way. <laughs> Young student found dead. Possible suicide. Oh my god. September 25th, 2024. 2021st. 2021. God damn. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of Ket and Stent apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, a girl was distraught over not being able to attend to college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police still believe her death may be a suicide. Emily's not like this, though. Right? You just read the whole story, bitch. Put the pieces together. You can figure it out. I believe in you. I believe in you, Anita. Uh, okay. I want to go outside. <gasps> this is inside. We're in a school. I don't want to be in a school. This is triggering. This is triggering all these tiny freaking lockers. My combination isn't working. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't like crowds. Oh shit. Damn! Oh my goodness. What the hell? Go away! What? What did I do? I can't help it if I'm not invisible. Freak, no wonder nobody likes you at school. What the fuck? God damn. Um, I cannot interact with this. What? Do I need to squeeze through them? Did I mess up? I physically cannot go through these guys. Or these. Which? You moron. Okay, I don't think that's right. All right, all right, all right. I don't know what to do. Mom, I want to go home. I have a stomachache. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Can't get to that one. I see nothing else I can interact with. Oh, it's this. Oh, god damn. Freak! 
Christ, why am I so short? I guess I'm just supposed to go through this infinite hellscape. Who said Maya? Okay. Oh no, oh no. I don't even know what is happening. Calm down. Oh shit. Oh shit. Leave me alone, Maya's ghost! Holy shit, oh, holy shit, that sounds really close. Ah! Don't look at me. Stop it. Yeah, don't look at me. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh shit, is this right? I don't know what's going on! This game! Oh god. Why are you chasing me? Why not? <laughs> Nothing else makes sense. Not again. Not again. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Thank you for at least asking this time. Oh, I was in here. I'm in here again. Everything's Oh, it's me. It's Anita. Drawing this picture. Oh, just kidding. I knew this. Amelie. This one's still messed up. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? <sighs> yeah, that's right. Amelie. Hmm? What's that? Oh. You like what you see? Come closer then. What is happening? Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, so 
Ari. She's so cute. What is that? Is this before? I couldn't help myself. Is that Amelie? Feel free to stop by anytime. You're always welcome. <laughs> oh God, Anita's the jealous one. Maya only ever cared about Amelie. Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. I am confused by the beginning now. I thought I understood, but now I'm more confused. Oh, now we're in a library. A library? So, I'm back at school. This is like a movie. There's no beauty in any of this. Kettenstan, the town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame for city slum. Kettenstan continues to see a rapid decline in its population. The birth rate is at a mere 0 0.7, less than half of that of the German national average, 1.6. Miscarriages are also at 31% more than double the average, 15%. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn in Kettenstein. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed before her death. She is believed to have placed a curse on the town, stymieing its growth. So... It is a curse. No. But why me? What? No. Why do I have to be cursed like this? No. No, I don't. What the fuck? Find what in a place like this? That's not a very nice thing. You called Maya a witch. She's dead. That was rude. And you wanted her to notice you? Awful, Anita, that's... We need to go in there? Well, it doesn't look like I can interact with anything else, but... I just wanted to look. And I'm assuming I need to go through this door, because it's got letters on it now. Oh, no. You assumed wrong. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I assumed wrong. Oh, look, here's something. The Witch Hunt of Kettenstein. In the 1930s Germany, the town of Kettenstein attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Prosperity. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people. 
However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout the industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The Witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believed the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claimed that the witch hunt was to blame. They argued the witch's rise to prominence and angered the angered the mayor's party who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for her murder. There is no evidence to support this claim and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory, but the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? What? Oh. What? What are you talking about? We're talking about the... Why are you questioning that when, like, nothing in this world is making sense right now? Is that why I saw what I saw before? The rooms are changing around you. No. Okay, okay. Uh, I already looked at this. Yeah, it's the same thing. Hmm. My locker. I still wait for you. No way. Okay. I'm confused again. It's okay. It's okay. You all right, Anita? You left me on red, so I was worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue, and then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. But that's not true. Are you dead? I'm super confused now. I thought I got it and now I'm like... I thought my locker was right here, wasn't it? Or no, that was Maya's. So, oh wait, other side of the room. Am I the witch? Or is this Maya's? This has got to be Maya's locker, right? Yeah. Maya's Jeez, locker. Jeez, look at all those razor blades. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before, either. Uh, maybe my locker? My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? Unlock it. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh, what? Liar. Witch. White paint. How do I know the combo? Oh, 
Oh, there's a number two. One. Yellow one, blue two. Wish I could run. Yellow one, blue two. Oh, okay. Red three. So yellow one, blue two, red three. I need one more. Oh, black zero. Okay, so. So zero, three, One, two, zero, three, one, two. Is that right? Zero, three, one, two. Let's try it. I know what's inside. I don't. And I can't look away. It's a locker. Here it is. Oh, shit. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? It was the notes that I left about the book? Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together. Mama me. Just me and you. Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just... I had the note. Maya. You have everything. You're way more talented than me. So, why? Why take Amelie from me, who acted like I wasn't even there? Amelie is my friend. She's mine! Uh, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She, she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? Uh, okay. I found it. Uh-oh. Fuck 
fuck, 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 I fucked up, I fucked up. Oh, she's fast! Go, go, go! God, I hope this is right. I don't know, everything feels wrong. This all feels like the same thing. It is the same. I think it's... Oh, I'm going in a circle. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, guys. I'm going in a circle. Okay, don't go that way. Well, that was hard. Oh shit, I gotta do it from scratch. Okay, hopefully this isn't too difficult. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, you're gonna be sorry. Alright, so straight. How'd she get in front of me? No! Game! Okay. Here's a loop. Hands are slipping off the joysticks. Interesting. Interesting. Notice me, Senpai. Hmm. Why'd she say that? Wrote letters to each other, right? 
Yeah, but then Maya jumped off the villa roof. <laughs> well, there was supposed to be one in the last book you had, too. What? That letter. That letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you away from me. My mom was right. I should never have been born. Whoa, wait, wait. Anita, calm down. Don't do that to her. She's already gone through so much. Just... Also... Uh, that didn't work last time. Anyways. Damn you. Does this mean we have to get chased one more time? Oh, double shit. Oh, look, it's the actual hole. I jumped off the building. We already know that doesn't work. We already know. We already know that doesn't work. Girl, this already happened. I'm trying not to be upset. She's just, you know. Oh shit, what? Oh shit! What is happening? Even if I die, this doesn't end. How many times do I have to go through this? Forever. At least you got your phone still. Oh shit. How can I get you to forgive me? Please, Maya, tell me. Why won't you say anything? Uh, am I looking for this? This pit? What an interesting detail. I could hear the rubble moving. February 4th. I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls kill themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Now the place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me a little queasy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? Oh shit. Oh shit. No future. God. Don't you dare go outside. Don't you dare go outside! Well, that's... Okay. It's the same layout. Close. Am I about to get chased already? This is... Wait. This is... Me and my mom lived here. This is our living room. December 29th, 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, 
My cute little angels who light up my life. Oh shit. That's the same apartment. And there there was two glasses of wine here and two a meal for two and then kids toys. And there's a lot of stuff going on in this apartment. <laughs> Pizza, natty ice. Why won't you listen to it, Sam? Thing I say. All I did was look at the pizza. Yeah. Uh, this is very different. <sighs> Takeaways. <laughs> February 10th, 2012. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. February 22nd, 2012. My daughter drew a picture of her family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than the other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon, en soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like the heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Jesus Christ. God dang. Oh, this is the bedroom. March 7, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands for the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. March 22nd. Wait, when was the last one? 7? 22nd. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and he said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them? We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him? Holy shit. What the fuck? April 12, 2012. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Jesus Christ, lady. This is insane. Oh, I'm short. I'm short. Uh, that is not something I've been able to do before. Oh my God, I'm short. Guys, look how short I am. Was I short when I walked in here? Oh, I'm locked in here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't like it. <sighs> I feel like she's gonna scream at me. It's gonna scare the shit out of me. Am I just... Am I supposed to do something else? I'm giving up my life for you! Jesus. God damn, mom. Holy shit. This is insane. Oh my god. This is so. Oh my god, it's moving. Oh. Okay. <sighs> this is insane. May 9th, 2012. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. So this is May 25th. Uh, I got contacted by the Child Were Welfare Center. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck do they know? 
He hasn't called me much lately. Am I dis am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? July 15th. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing banners anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know there's going to I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. Jesus. Oh my god. Don't you dare go outside. Stop. What the? Oh my god. Oh, she's leaving. Miss Krista Plannert. We've reached out to you repeatedly, but have not yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remedying the issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code Article 1631, Section 2. Accordingly, the federal court has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Fisher, Kentonstan Child Welfare Center. Good. God damn, save the kids. Oh. Oh my god. Is this the closet? Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god, is this what happened to Anita? What the fuck, dude? This is so fucked up! Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's why the fridge was screaming! A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother, Person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him, and when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, Person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. When, she, when detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and rescued the mother after she confessed to her crime. Oh! You just obeyed me again! You can just stay in there! Don't lock me in here! Let me out! Oh! This is all your fault! That is not mom. That is. That looks like Maya. I'm a curse. You always said you'd be better off without me. You're not my daughter. You're burden. A curse for my mother. Mother. You're wrong, mom. I am your daughter. And just like you, I'm cursed. Oh my god, this is devastating. This is so crazy. Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. Oh god, that scared me. Oh, it's so horrible. 
This is disgusting. Oh no, we're about to get chased. Alright, everybody, hang on to your sacks. Bullshit! Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. I got lost. Alright, 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 alright. I said hang on to your socks. Let me try again. I got a little disoriented by the flashing lights. All right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is serious. I'm not gonna go for this. Oh shit, I messed up. I messed up, I messed up. Oh God. This is hard. It's so simple, but it's like the quick reactions, like in, in the previous run throughs, like when I was doing the other mazes. <laughs> when will this end? Like making quick decisions kind of fucked me a couple times. Go! Oh god, this is horrible. Okay, just keep in mind, you might have to back up at some point. I really like what you're doing, Vega. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. Oh my god. This is really overwhelming. Why am I so slow? Oh shit. I'm stressed. Is this new? Oh, oh, fuck, 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 oh, fuck. Go! Go! Yeah! 
that really got me. really stressful guys I don't even know how many pictures I need where I started. <laughs> no! Game, 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 game! Give me a better hint, game! No! God, where is the last picture? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's locked. Oh my god, it's locked. Oh my god, it's locked! No!
This is very serious now. I hate that it's still scary. It's just like stressful. Stress is bad for you. Pretty confident there's one right over here. But I'm not ready for that. I really like what you drew me way back. Okay. Continue, continue. Get in! Right? God damn! You could audit an art class. Different. What are you hiding inside? This is such a hard spot. It is, she'll just pop up in front of you all of a sudden, too. You're stressing me out. Fuck. No, 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 no. That's not fair. That's not fair. I think that was good. was earlier Fuck I might die I don't even know how many photos I have Oh, you like what you 
see? Fuck, I'm running a big fucking circle, guys. I think I only have one left. But I don't... Did I find them all? How do I know? Am I safe? I don't feel safe. Oh, thank God. Holy shit! Am I gonna be alone forever? What are you talking about? You got Maya's fucking flower ghost with you. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Um, I'm trying to like come down from all that. That was very overwhelming. February 21st. I've been really absorbed with my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. March 4th. My roof piece is almost done. I might actually be, it might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it'll show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. Yikes. Okay. Um, I'm still not, like... I'm still stressed out. March 13th, 2023. At approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti artist CB Maya Ako Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Kettenstand. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes with a, as a shock to not only the local community members, but also all of those who are familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may have been suicide, but given her popularity, popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait. She killed herself half a year ago? And that means I've been here this whole time? What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die.
Is this... me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So... She did notice me. It complements this painting. Okay, I think we might be done in this room, maybe. I don't ever want to... I don't want to... Oh, God. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. Probably stop jumping off the building. That doesn't seem to be helping. Just saying. No, 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 no. Stop. I don't feel like that's the... the... No. I don't... You... Goosebumps.
Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. Oh man, I'm actually getting all teary-eyed. That was really, um... That was good. <laughs> I really like that. That was basically like playing through a movie. Um... <laughs> I'm genuinely trying not to cry right now. Oh, the music's definitely not helping. Moving oh, day. gosh. It feels kind of scary leaving my hometown, but I'll be fine. I have my best friend with me. Loneliness creeping to my skin. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. All right, I can't listen to this anymore because I'll end up crying. Um... I just need a second to gather my thoughts. Um, yeah, I mean, I really <laughs> enjoyed this game. It was beautiful. It had um, a really like thought-provoking and interesting story. Um, obviously, there were, there was a, only one part in the game that was really difficult. Everything else was just, you know, progressing through the story. Um, I really appreciate. I, I think. I just really appreciate what they're trying to do with the story. Um, I am someone who suffers with depression, and um, I think that's why the ending is so hard for me to stomach for some reason. Like, I just really connected to that aspect of it. Um, I think this is really common. I think a lot of people deal with these, like, dark thoughts and... Um, you know, I can get all mushy and gushy, but the real message is just to never, like, just always reach out to people when they seem like they're in need, and even just ask, and don't be afraid to ask for your own benefit, because there's someone out there that cares about you. No one's really ever alone. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate... Uh, that this was recommended to me. I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me um, play the game. Uh, and do something for yourself today. Do something to make yourself feel better. Go make a cup of hot cocoa or tea or something. Uh, something happy and warm. Do it for me. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I really want to cry.